Hey guys, on today's video, we are going to be using the Amsoil Power Foam to clean the throttle body on the 2006 Toyota Tundra with the 4 liter V6. I don't think there's many videos out there showing the uh, Tundra with the V6 doing this. Uh, in fact, I don't think there are any. Uh, at least not on the Tundra. Most of them that you find are on the 4.7 V8. Uh, that was a much more common engine than the uh, 4 liter V6 that we have here. But this is what we're working with and I'm going to show you how to do that next. Alright, so the first thing we need to do is remove this plastic cover. I'm going to use a 10 millimeter socket. Should be two uh, acorn style nuts. And then lift up the cover and it will come off so just like this that. right here is the throttle body. This is an electronically controlled throttle body or what's called drive by wire. And there's a couple things that we want to be uh, doing, we want to be mindful of when we're doing this. The easiest way to, uh, to do this is to actually remove the, um, this box here, and uh, that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to uh, release the air cleaner assembly here. Can disconnect this uh, sensor right here. This is probably the map sensor. Okay, and then there'll be a uh, vacuum plug or vacuum connector, I should say. We'll just uh, remove this like this. Okay, this actually connects over to the. Um, I believe this is the PVC. So, we're going to remove, there's a nut right here, our bolt, and of course we've got the clamp here, right here. Just pop off. I'm trying to be careful with it, I don't want to break it. There we go. So it's just got a little, um, it's got a little tab right here. And there's another, this one should just be, okay. So this one just pops off like that. So we've got this small little harness. I'm going to set that aside right there. And then, should just be able to pull this off. I'm just going to let that sit on there a little bit. And then I'm going to take a paper towel and start cleaning around where that butterfly sits. See all that scum coming off there? That's a lot of stuff in there. That's the bad thing about aluminum engine, there's nothing to have this magnetized light connect to. flapper actually uh, connects or touches the body. So we're going to let that sit there for a little while and we'll be right back. Alright, so I have got this about as clean as I can. You can barely, 
press that open a little bit and anywhere where the the butterfly touches the uh, throttle body itself uh, that's what we're aiming for I know that uh, there are some I think BG makes a kit that will actually it has a hooked line that um, it will fit inside of this uh, connection here with everything uh, bolted up so we'll try that and see what happens but I'm going to go ahead and put this back on all right so we should have one code in the computer See here. Scan two codes. So we're going to clear. Clear codes, yes. All right. All right. So initially, it's going to. Uh, idle a little higher than normal that right there is for the oil light but you see there's no check engine light because we already cleared it and the uh, computer has to relearn a little bit the idle parameters all right so basically that is pretty much the procedure that you would use on this engine to do the uh, Amsoil power foam I know that a lot of videos you've seen you have people spraying half of a can inside the intake as it's running um, and again you could use the uh, PVC hose inlet or you could get that um, kind of a u-shaped adapter where you would actually be able to connect all the air box and the sensors and everything up or else it's not going to run but um, yeah it's not really necessary to to do that and to make that smoke show everybody sees what you want to be able to do is you want to clean that butterfly and the area around in the throttle body where the butterfly touches because uh, any debris or buildup in that area is going to cause uh, some idle issues I can't really tell a difference right now um, from doing that it probably wasn't enough to be a problem but that's what we want to do is we want to get to the uh, Get to the maintenance before it becomes a problem so uh, the next video that i'm going to have coming out after this is we're going to be doing a actual engine oil flush uh, when i did the amps oil a year ago uh, i did not have the engine flush i'm going to go ahead and do it and then we'll change the oil and that will be on another video but thank you for watching and uh, let me comment if you've got one of these engines in a tundra if you've used this if it uh helped with any problems it was very 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 easy to get the uh, build up off of the throttle body I was very surprised but this stuff stinks it smells like fish anyway that's it thank you for watching